so you have traveled the world several times. You have seen so many countries in your whole career. And uh, where was the place you loved the most? Where is the place you really wanted to stay? Is this a German television program? Of course we're going to say Germany. <laughs> But no, we do. Germany's we, like home to us. Yeah, we love Germany. Come on, you don't have to be polite. No, no, no. no, no we did. It was the first place we started touring and you know, playing shows, really. We did a bunch of shows in France and England before we came to Germany. And uh, as soon as we got across the border and did our first show, it just felt at home. You know. If if uh, if a young viewer of us finds out that he really loves Saga, which album should he buy? Uh, Marathon. <laughs> no, yeah, Just it is. It's a good. Yeah, it's a good yeah. cross section of everything we've yeah. done. I think. Is Why? It, <laughs> That's just the way it turned out. We didn't plan it that way. It's just it's got enough of the old approach and the old sound and, and enough of Saga 2003 on it that I think it's... I always consider it, uh, in, when asked about it, uh, Marathon I think is a really good primer, like a, a kid going to school for the first time. It, um, if you listen to Marathon, it's a good cross-section of, of what we're all about, I think. Good introduction to the band. Yeah, it is. So, um... As an introduction to the band, um, could you explain how you um, seen the the music change? I mean, as I said before, you, you've been there over decades, and you've seen so many musical styles, and still Saga is there, <laughs> and still Saga sounds like Saga, and no, no no other band. So, how did you experience that that all of the punk comes and goes, metal comes and goes, and so on? We didn't pay any attention to it. You know, we just did always did what we wanted to do you know uh, sure you're gonna listen to stuff on the radio or thing you know you're gonna be i don't think influenced but uh, we've never ever taken anything on purpose in trying to sound like that uh, and uh, were, were there which is kind of hard to say um any uh, uh musical uh Changes you really didn't like, like for example, at the beginning of the 90s when Nirvana came up in Grunge, which is uh, a complete uh, opposite to, to the artful music of Saga. It's kind of raw and heavy, and uh, was something which you really didn't understand why I, people listen to I, it. I think that whole thing was good. I think it was good for the music business in general. I think change, uh, drastic change, is always good for cycles of music, uh, the music genre in, in general for the public. I think that's it's very healthy. Because if everyone's listening to the same homogenized crap constantly, then, then people walk around like that, mindless. So it's good to have somebody, you know, shake things up. You don't necessarily have to like it, but I like the idea of something different coming along once in a while. Yeah, and it sure did change a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. It was due for a change. I think thing, it, it, something's due for a change right now. I think the, the audience and the record companies alike are, are really confused. Everyone's waiting for what is the next big thing, you know, instead of a recycled boy band or another pop diva that's just exactly what the world needs right now don't you think <laughs> um i think every, i mean nora jones winning eight grammys who the hell is nora jones no one had ever heard of her and, and i think it boils down to the fact it's just her and a piano and it's very human and it's it's very refreshing it's like wow that's real music you know so i think it's a nice change it's time for something like that yeah, we just found out one thing to together with ray wilson and um, we found out that german fans can't club in time they always try they do oh, it with yeah, passion right. but they can't it's like okay this is the beat try to and they yeah that's right yeah. it makes our drummer go crazy sometimes <laughs> when he has to count in a song yeah. and this is all kind of like this he's got to like stop and just think about it and count in the song right are there other countries uh, where people have no rhythm like in germany um uh, canada true really canada yeah I think it's not so much they don't have rhythm or time, it's just that they, they get excited and they start doing it too fast. And the song's supposed to go like this, but they're getting really excited and they, no, 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 and Steve's going, ticket, 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 and they're going, nah, nah. <laughs> and plus half of them it. are drunk. Excuse me? And they're all drunk. <laughs>